What's up guys, we are Tottenham TV here and Tottenham have completed the signing of Matt Doherty from Wolves on this beautiful sunny Sunday morning. We finally got a right back through the door which we've been so desperately wanting um, for a couple seasons now. Matt Doherty has been one of the best right backs in the Premier League over the past two seasons since Wolves have got promoted. He has impressed immeasurably um, going forward and he's been solid at the back and it's another smart piece of business Tottenham have contributed in this window. That's three signings now before the season starts. The season now starts in two weeks time. Um, it's been a fairly quick deal. Uh, pretty much a couple weeks ago um, Tottenham were registered their interest and have uh, got this deal over the line very very quickly and it's another good piece of business from Tottenham and from Daniel Levy and, and Jose Mourinho as well who's clearly been uh, targeting who he wants um, with precision this window. Um, the re final reported fee reported by Alistair Gold a court apparently is 13.4 million plus add-ons um, for Matt Doherty to join for Wolves. So what an amazing piece of business this is, especially in the current times where it's not so in, in with the pandemic going on Tottenham were looking for good deals looking for deals that made uh, made sense they didn't want to overpay for they didn't want to overpay for players and getting this sort of deal for someone as good as Matt Doherty um is fantastic piece of business and he really it really um goes to show what can be done when you choose your targets carefully and you target them with precision. Matt Doherty apparently pushed for this move for Tottenham as soon as uh, he heard about the interest from us and that is what contributed to the fee being uh, lower than it was. Um, obviously, at the beginning of the sea, at the beginning of the transfer window, I was looking at right backs, and Matt Doherty was on my list as 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 of right backs I would want to sign, but I just thought. Him being at Wolves, a Premier League rival, and, and and being as good as he is, I thought there's no chance that Wolves would be willing to let him go for anything less than 25 million at least. Um, so I kind of ruled him out as an option for Spurs. But for him to be get, gotten over the line at 13.4 million is an astounding piece of business from Daniel Levy. It really is, especially how good he's been over the past couple of seasons. It's not only how good he's been, it's also how reliable he is because he's played... 50 games last season, 45 the season before. This guy plays a lot of games. He plays a lot of football. He stays fit. He doesn't. He's not very injury prone, and that's going to be invaluable for next season for all the games we have. Um, thick. They're going to come thick and fast. So we're really going to need him to step up. Obviously, he's used to Europa League. Last season, he performed quite well. Quite well in the Europa League. Um, so he's quite used to that style of football and, and he's used to uh, performing Thursdays and Sundays and those quick turnover of games. So that'll be fantastic. And it's just great to get another right back in the door. It really is. And um, I'm just happy that we are really targeting our targets. Uh, we know what we want and we're getting good deals in, in positions that we need. And Matt Doherty for 13 million, as I say again, absolutely fantastic. 15 goals and 15 assists over the past um, couple seasons as well uh, from the right back position. I think it's uh, second only to Trent Alexander Arnold um, f from attacking output. The only question mark is defensively uh, he gets a lot of cover for Wolves. He plays right wing back um, with, in their in their system with three centre backs. So is he going to get that much cover it's what Spurs playing with forward back and if he goes forward is he going to be caught out more he likes to get in the box no defender had more touches inside the box last season than Matt, than Matt Doherty so is he going to get that kind of attacking freedom at Spurs that remains to be seen but clearly he has shown with um if given the license to attack he can really contribute going forward massively um wolves have really reaped the benefits of the last couple of seasons and he's been absolutely fantastic i think a lot of wolves fans i've seen are, are perplexed by the amount of um that tottenham have recaptured him for they expected a lot higher fee uh than 13 million they're going to look to upgrade him now um and it does, it does, it is a bit peculiar. Apparently, this uh, transfer was sanctioned by Nuno Espirito Santo as well as the chairman. So it, it does show me that he is not 
that upset possibly by letting Doherty leave Wolves uh, even for that price which makes me a bit a tiny bit skeptical as to why they're so willing to let him go on a, a, a lower fee are we missing something is he not as good as uh, maybe uh, his attacking numbers suggest um, or maybe they're just willing to grant Doherty a move after 10 years at Wolves they're willing to allow him uh, a, a move uh, to progress his career and not put a stumbling block in his way when when he's given 10 years of service to the club. Maybe it's that, you know, other clubs have done that before when a player has done so well for such a long time for them, they uh, grant them a move even if the financial deal isn't in the club's interest. Um, but it remains to be seen. Uh, are we going to let go of Serge Aurier now? That looks like the most likely solution, although he did play a couple of friendlies for the past two days um, in the Spurs show. That could be the last time we see him. He looks likely to go to AC Milan. Personally, I would like to keep Aurier on as a sub, as a backup right back and have them rotating and competing for a first um, first team slot. Looks like that's not going to happen. It looks like we're going to cash in on Aurier now, seeing as we got thirteen, seeing as we paid thirteen million for Doherty. Um, the money that we're getting for Aurier is going to be around between 18 and 20 million, it looks like. So, um, are we going to go into the season again for the second season in a row without a backup right back? Very possibly, very possibly, which is a bit of a disappointment there because I can't see us signing another right back after selling Aurier. Otherwise, why would we sell Aurier? Might as well keep him on. Um, it's a bit unfortunate, but. Um, another smart piece of business from Tottenham, another smart, smart piece of business from Levy, another good price we got. Um, Doty is now a Tottenham player. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think it's a good signing? Are you surprised by the low fee we're paying for him? How highly do you rate Doty in terms of right backs in the Premier League? Are you excited to see him in the Spurs show? Let me know in the comments below. He is officially a Tottenham player. Also, quickly to add, he will be wearing the number two shirt. So we have a new number two at Tottenham Hotspur this season. Like, subscribe and comment below. Let me know your thoughts. And as always, come on you Spurs. Yeah.